It appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, Your Highness? Uh, I had... I had a dream. I... I'm okay. Thanks for coming, Lydia. You had us all on tender hooks. When I found you... <laughs> my god, Daniel. I'm glad to see you awake. So... I'm better. I'm... I'm fine. By the way... I found a note at the Hersha house. It... Daniel. The doctor said you need complete rest. Complete. I'm fine. Really. I found this. Apparently, Husher received a music box from an acquaintance of his, a certain Mr. Farber. It seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished. And from what Farber says, the music box may be related to everything that has happened. I'm not sure we should stick our nose into this business after everything that's occurred. She may be right, Daniel. I'm sure the police are very close to finding out where Husher is. Do you think the police would have found me? We need to find Husher. I saw the box that Faber describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of... Oh. I think we should pay a visit to this Faber and ask him about the music box and Husher. He has a shop in the city not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? Hello everyone, my name is Rosenbrude and welcome to episode 2 of Song of Horror, Eerily Quiet. We just saw the cutscene, I have no idea how Erica Farber knows. I think she's the one who was wearing the hat. I haven't really actually... I should have gone through these before and tried to work out who I'm going to play before I play. Is that some... Police officer? Or security guard? Got a gun though. Oh, but we can play as Daniel this time around. It's kind of interesting. Go and look it up. I'm worried about who, who would... Oh, we don't have um, uh, the editor this time around. So we're going into following the route of the uh, of the lock, not the lock box, the uh, the music box. So the next one, the guy was um, uh, Husher sent it, sent it back to Farber. So we're going to follow along that route. Who are we going to play as? Uh, so we know who Sophie is. So she, so she survived. So she was. So I'm interested in see like if she had died in the last one. How it would have been different. Uh, Erica Farber. Erica manages the Farber and Sons antique shop along with her father Isaac. If he's the art expert, he she's the managing brains. Uh, she's always on top of every slightest detail of the business. Her uh, adventurous spirit takes her all over the world in search of new items to adorn the shop windows. Incredibly active, Erica has many hobbies and lets her imagination run wild. Every chance she gets, so she's got less stealth and strength. Sophie was a lot more balanced, but she's got like a lot of speed and serenity. I don't know how th this is going to be. She's got a lighter as well, so it's going to be, I think, weaker than the candle. He's got a flashlight. Renee was uh, born to be a cop, and he'll die one two. Born in the Caribbean, he grew disillusioned with the police department in his hometown and set sail for Europe, where he's thought his integrity and sense of duty would serve him better, but the grass wasn't as green as it seemed. Tired of moving around, Rene, Rin? Rin? Rene decided to settle down and do what he could to help his fellow citizens. So he's got a lot more strength and speed, not much stealth. I think stealth is like how often you're going to be attacked. So if you've got like a high stealth, you're going to be attacked less, like uh, you're going to trigger less stuff. He does have a gun, so... I don't know how that's going to help. I think maybe we're going to get stuck in, like, actual monster monsters. Daniel, he has a flashlight. Daniel is a publicist, ex-entrepreneur, whose failed business venture led him to become an alcoholic. Drinking cost him his health, his marriage with Sophie, and even his home. Daniel, who has been sober for some time now, 
has finally managed to secure a stable job and slowly rebuild his life. It's kind of a shame. He's got a badge of perseverance, so he's uh, he's a a thing. He, and he, oh, he is just balanced all all across. I think I'm going to play as Erica. I like the idea of being like closely like so. Sophie was closely tied to Daniel, so she went straight and like searched for him. Erica, this is her dad's shop, so she's going to know the shop. So I think I'm going to go with her. Uh, bonus personnel. So she's got a music player. Oh, we can bring in Hush's haikus. I don't have a bonus personal item. I'm not carrying additional per. Oh wait, maybe. No. Okay. I was wondering if maybe because I've played as Sophie before, I could have bought something else. Maybe uh, I could have found something in the house and brought that along. I'm kind of disappointed that I can't play as, um, I can't remember his name, but the, uh, uh, the editor, because he had the notebook, I was kind of interested in, to see what that does. And we are in an antique shop this time, so it's a very different setting, it's kind of interesting. I, I do, I really love the house, I love a good haunted house. Uh, Isaac, oh, I missed that. Uh, when a dog starts shaking, emanate eerie black smoke. You have to keep it from opening. Oh yeah, so that's the uh, it's bossing it. Yeah, it's been it's been a, like a, a week or so since I played the last one, so it's a little while. Um, also, I've, I've I've looked up the company that made the game. Uh, they are Spanish, so I'm guessing this is set in Spain. Um, it might account for like why everyone's kind of like accents are all over the place. Like in the cutscene, I think Erica sounded a little. Uh, I thought she was sounding like a little Irish or or something. Daniel sounds a bit English, but everyone's kind of just all over the place accent-wise. I guess just how they got the English speakers. But it's uh, October first, nineteen ninety-eight, so it's a few days later. He's recovered. Daniel's recovered. We have a lighter. Of course, now that this is going to be, um, we sell all kinds of stuff here. We might have to think about opening a second, more specialised shop. Nice, we're in kind of like a little Chinatown area, it's cool. I mean obviously you gotta like, that's where an antique shop is gonna be. In the spooky, like, Chinatown underneath a restaurant. It's locked, but uh, shouldn't I have a key? Isn't this my house? See if it's more fun. Yeah, this is... But it says I can use, I don't want to use. Maybe they have a, a use here. They'd left the keys in the flower pot again. Oh, okay, good thing because I forgot mine. Cool key. Oh, did I... I took it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's the sprint. Ah, the lighter. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't come back on. Right. Magic. Right, I don't know if I have to hold it or Dad's cane, the umbrella belongs to Mr. Roman, he always forgets it. So we've got an antique store. We've got to listen. I'm probably not gonna hit get hit with uh a spooky boy right at the start. Oh this is a shop. Too eerily quiet. Oh man. Oh, Dad's left his hat. How weird. It's not like Dad to leave the lights on after closing up. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff to explore. I'll try to convince Dad to let me offer these masks as costumes. We've managed to diversify our customer base, but we've still got a long way to go. And the ship. I want to know about the ship. The German fellow who sells us these wooden ships is 88 years old. I wonder how many more we'll be able to purchase. Okay. Ooh, an old coltar machine. I need to put in a special coin that was better if I want to spit out a message. Who knows where these tokens are? Okay, so we've got to find these tokens, minor fixes. This telescope would be good as new mental note. Call someone, take a look at it. 
So our dad's missing. That's what we're going to find. We were looking for this one, the list of products. I can't find it. I can't remember where I stored the blasted music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes, otherwise, where would, could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. We took it out into the courtyard and dragged it into one of our storage rooms in the basement. But which one did we place it in? I can't even remember what colour or shape it was. What's wrong with me? Could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? Uh, I would have to buy a luminol, right? That's what the police use. Perhaps that way I could find the lots of products containing the wardrobe and the box with it. Sebastian says I must return it to its original owners, the Legrand Ansberg family. If I can manage that, will this madness come to an end? Okay, so so trip into the door to the exhibit room. I need the handle for that. Um, let's look at this one. Antique till really matches the feel of this place, but it's a drag every time we have to use it. Gave my boyfriend one of these classic novels some time back, and he fell asleep reading it. Damn boy, they're not that boring. Okay. So we know we need that. Got some stairs here. I want to go check over this floor before I work my way back. How do I look at the map? Man, those shadows. There we are. Yeah, so little little gears show me where to go. Ah. Don't use. Don't need to use it. But I've got a thing to grab. I could squeeze on here. Okay, so we've got a hiding spot if I need one. Door here. Yeah, still got that little click, the audio clue. I think that's just telling me that, hey, like it's safe. Letter one by Sebastian P. Husher. Uh, Dear Isaac, I am sorry about your trouble getting to sleep. If it, if it is any consolation, I have been suffering from the same plight recently myself, perhaps due to the imminent proofreading of my novel. If quality can be measured by time invested, it should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect that this is not always the case. Despite everything, I have found a bit more time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on that carving and the wood, I am certain that it is European from the late 19th to earliest 20th century. I also notice that it is of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back from back in its era. I will continue my research, get well soon. Husha. Husha. Ooh. Why is that shaking? Uh, and digitize these documents, but who can be bothered? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to, to look in and read. I'm, I don't know if I'll read them all. Gallery, door closed, to enter us. So we need that, that thing. Can I wear the armor? Ooh. Dummy belong to mum. She's the only person in our family who's fairly good at sewing. Guitar? Hey, what's my guitar doing here? Okay. People come up with the craziest stories about the origin of the spyglass. Calm down, everyone. It's just decoration. Oh, a cannon! Ghost all of this tried to convince me to believe that it was used in the Battle of Balaclava. Ha, my ass. Ooh. I'd love to get some kids some, to give some kids a scare every time they come in with their parents and start running at, at like a pack of wolves. Shop is a mess. We've got hundreds of uncategorized and uncatalogued articles. Yes, lots of stuff. The old box. Lots of random crap. Oh yeah, what I did in the last episode, I um, left around notebooks, more me mementos. I was good when I was going through the uh, well, the last two episodes. I was going through the um, looking at the puzzles again, and I realized that the um, the uh, the one with the in the dollhouse, the initial note you find 
written by the boy that says like oh hey um uh like i hit the house that was a clue to the uh uh Like it says about where everyone everyone should be, so like, or each where to put each of the dolls, which is a, a, probably a smarter way uh -huh. than what I do. Spray bottle. Oh. Take it. Yep. And there was shadow. Did one of the clients lose their minds? Just the bathroom. So I think like I've just got to kind of be more mindful about the notes I'm reading, like the main ones. If someone starts giving me a, a clue like that. Can I take the gun? We've got some major antique weapon fanatics among our customers. Especially Baker and Malcolm, they couldn't care less about the other items for sale. So we've got some good uh, good regulars I believe. Oh there's another door. I missed you, the exit. Yeah, they're not gonna hit me with something too quickly, door leads to the courtyard and my dad's flat. Must have locked it. Okay, so we got like a house above the uh, above this place. We'll go up the stairs. Once we get the um, and the exhibits, we need that. No clues. Get coins for that. Special tokens. We need to go down to the basement because he stored the uh, he stored it in the basement the the music box. We need the luminol. Copy of the treaty or toward to say Spain and Portugal divvied up South America like a couple of high schoolers. Uh, old toys, real scary movie type. Yeah, little puppet. Oof. The controls are good, I have to say. The uh, I was worried. That was one of the things that always worried me about this kind of fixed camera. Like I always, uh, I think I've like played one maybe. I want to look at this. Oh yeah, I gotta actually like look at it. I always thought it'd be difficult to control. Uh, call under this table. All oh, right, put on the straight face. Will a random client buy me? I'm so tired. Oh, um, um, that's not a hiding spot. Oh, it is a hiding spot. So we got one up here, one down down on the main shop floor. Someone put something in the samurai's mouth. Okay, so that's... Got to find some tongs or something. Hush, I love these gramophones. Lost count how many he has already. Ah, oh, yeah, so he, he bought loads of stuff. We keep our historical figure biographies. Oh. Wow, Dad is really losing it lately. What's with the huge lock, and how the heck do you turn that shaft? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh, can I... Uh, maybe... Whatever is in that samurai's mouth, it's shiny, should I take it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh... Okay, it's a coal tar thing, yeah. But I gotta be. It does ask you things. I think I gotta be wary of that. Like sometimes, like sometimes things they will ask you, like, "Hey, do you want to? You sure you want to do this?" And because permadeath is a thing, right? Gotta be careful. The bronze one. Wonder if each one gives us a different, different uh, token. No, <laughs> in the mouth. Eat it. See what the future has in store. Message one from Coltar. A prediction from the Coltar machine. There's something you forgot. Remem remember it and you will be blessed. What did I forget? What did I forget? Oh, yeah. Did I... Wait, there was a note here. Where'd it go? Oh, did I take it? Yeah, make mo good money on these cheap keychains and replicas. Dad kept griping about it at first, but the numbers don't lie. Okay, uh, yeah, I did the loop around there, so we just got this door now. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. The little click, the little footstep. Oh, 
Well, I think it's just the mm -mm. look from the inside. I can just picture that pig Walter in there, the big pervert. Uh, who's Walter? Just watching that back thing. Oh, that's a little grate overhead. It's gonna be like something reaching down at some point, right? Trying to grab us. This is storage rooms and the meter rooms, it's locked. Oh, that's where we need to go. Huh. Oh, can I... Uh... Yeah, I keep forgetting that. i still got this lock, right? This key, I mean. Maybe I can use the key on, on that. Because the key disappears when it's all been... Not the right key. The key disappears, right, when, when it's not, not in use. That's this game? Yeah, it's this game, right? Because I went around and opened everything up. And then the item disappears. It has to be this game. It's been, it's been a hot minute since I played the, lot, the last episode. That's for, it's thrown me off. All the rules. Which is probably a bad thing in a game of permadeath where you need to do real specific things sometimes. Oh yeah, we still got that one in the back corner there, right? We'll go there. Okay. I'll listen again, because the prompt came up. Just gotta gotta stop before each door and remember doing doing that. Yeah, now I can yeah okay. So there was is this game where they where they had that. Okay, that's good to know. I could just could remember. <laughs> One of our storage units. I think the guards had the key. Uh, okay, so we got lots of doors. I guess we're in like a, yeah, like a flat or something. A series of flats. Alright, so we've got these, these two storage units. Isaac Farber, Marley Wrangell, Gibbs Family. Is that this way? Or towards the exit? I didn't hear the click, I'm gonna... Oh yeah, yeah, I just missed it. It's locked, I need to find the key. Okay. I, d I didn't I didn't listen clown we're going outside I love the look of this game Where it's did good everyone go? it's bleak it's oppressive looks like it's uh it looks lived in oh my gosh you have like a billion doors do I have to search the whole flat? Where's the courtyard? Change floor. That's down below. Oh yeah, the courtyard is, is its own thing. So yeah, so these ones have keys in that hallway, so I do need to go... I need to find the, the guards, like, keychain or whatever. Uh, but it looks like... These ones are going to be, like, closed off to me, but I still need to check, because I don't know which one's which. Because the when it said the Farber family, it didn't give me uh, it didn't give me a uh, what number I was right. Like she knows, but she's not telling me. What's in the bin? What's in the bin? No, no. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, it's got a question mark, so I'm gonna keep it. If it's something like that, like I, I had the, the the bath in the last one, which I never touched. Mm -mm. Uh, but it's just something like, like the bins should be fine, right? I'll only like use it if I'm stuck, 
and I have no other option. Because I don't, like now, nope. so, oh, block four, this is where my flat is, but the door's locked, of course, okay. Um, yeah, I just don't want to mess around with stuff. Neighbours use this place as a tool shed. Oh, this is a tools in there. Can't listen to this one. Mm -mm. Look from the inside. Oh, I have to get up the top, looks like. Through the top there. Something on the table I could sneak in somehow. I just gotta be careful. Now we're outside of the little tutorial space. Isn't anyone taking out the rubbish? Oh, this is the great above. Okay. Yep. Clown. Why'd you do that? Well, I could get that from the store using the basement stairs. Yeah, I could go around and grab it. That's easy enough. So we just gotta remember that that's there. Don't wanna get stuck. I might get stuck. Nope. No way. Uh, building looks old. I mean, it's a carriage door which hasn't been used in I don't know how long centuries. Yeah, this this looks like it definitely looks European. The whole carriage leading into the uh, carriageway leading into like a block of flats with a central courtyard it does make me think of Madrid. Could be Spain. So I think it is. I think it is meant to be set in Spain. They're just not. They're kind of like keeping it a bit loosey goosey. Will this other lift work? I shouldn't give my hopes up. If shafts are spooky as ever. Can't click on that one. We got a flashing light down the hall. Into the hall. All right, we got we got a spook on the way. Night shift report. Eleventh uh, of August, nineteen ninety eight. So about a month ago. Uh, more than a month. Two months. Uh, sh night shift, 7 a.m. Sullivan Walter, code 09534. Uh, incidents, 1038. While on the rounds, I detected a small leak in one of the water pipes. I place a bucket under it and send a notice to the building insurers. 11, uh, 1 a.m. Up there. I hear someone pounding on the main door coming from outside. I approach and ask who is there with no response. The pounding stops. Uh, when I open up, I see nobody on the street. 4.40 a.m. I think I hear a melody playing behind me. I go out into the inner courtyard and find Mr. Isaac Farber, barefoot and wearing nothing but a pair of blue pyjamas. His eyes are closed and in his hands he is holding a music box, which plays as he walks slowly. He ignores me when I call to him and enters the door leading to his shop. Okay, so we've got... There's been, he's, been had the, he's had it for a while. Had it for a while. What's it say? Well, we've got some music. Yep. Someone we're doing the job. We don't have to break in, damn it. We're only paying for. Something about plants. Oh, so this will tell us who's living in what, what, uh, what building. So we're in block four? Right? We need to... F so... I guess if we were playing someone else, they wouldn't know who's on what floor, so they would have to find where Faber's room is. We know that we're in block four, right? No, there. Erica Faber, three. Oh, B4, three C. What about her dad? I was trying to... I wonder if all these uh, names are... Or all like backers or something. Unless someone gives me a name, I'm just uh, I'm just going to assume that that's that's what I need to. Uh, I just needed to have found found her her room. Four three C something right. We got another one. Oh, we got another one. Shit. Okay. And this is different yeah okay this is more is it I don't know 
I don't see Simon or that pig Walter, but their keys are inside. Oh, okay, so... Walter's a, uh... Can I... Nope. If I bend the hanger, will it reach the keys? Maybe, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get hold of them. So maybe I need to attach something to the to the, the keys. It's main entrance, but Dad and I always go in through the shop. Don't have the keys with me. Okay, so that's uh, just the way out. Yeah, so we need a key there. Ah, so that does go round and lead back down. So we do have to go down to the back to the basement. Anything going on behind you? No. Where's my heartbeat going? Oh. What the hell? What the hell indeed? Oh. That door is reinforced with steel. I doubt I could hear anything on the other side. Oh, do I need to Oh. I need to check it like see if there's something in there like visually gosh okay nothing in there clearly hey buddy who are you where are we going okay we have a no. But how did it get in there in the first place? It's true. We've got a natural proper boy, like a actual monster walking around, I guess. Ooh, okay, that might be a bit I didn't check to see if I had to listen. That might be a bit of a challenge later on. I reckon I might die. I think if like all your characters die so if I lose all four characters, I have to start the uh, the chapter again. Brutal. There he is. He's up top. Who? Hmm? Peculiar fridge ornament. Oh, can I combine this with? No. I was wondering maybe I could like attach to the hangar and then reach in, grab the keys. Uh, it's probably going to be for the keys, right? I'm trying to think, I might have to hit the bin. <laughs> might have to go go in. They need to hit me with like something in the background. Someone running around, makes my heart go. That's got to be telling me that like she's freaking out or something. That must be what I need the serenity for. Listen to the uh, the tapes or something. Uh, put down one of Sophie's candles. Um. No, don't need you. Can't listen. So we're going through, we'll go around. The only thing I can think of doing is heading toward that. No, well, we're going to stick a hand in the bin. Silver Coltar token. It's heavier than I expected. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, because you no, know, I'm I'm thinking bin's all right. So we need one more of those tokens, gold one, I, I assume. 
and we should be fine. Oh, hey. What the? Hey, chief. I wonder when the lights were going off. But that's got to be. There's not going to be something right with him. We're not going to try the door. Definitely someone going to be doing something cheeky with that. Uh, that leads down. We can't go there. Got to listen again. No, might be alright. Oh, it's locked. This is a locked one, right. Oh yeah, that's just a... Nothing there, right, okay. Oh, something's happening. Got a cutscene. What? Well, there's our boy. Hey, you right, Chief? He's blind? <gasps> Ooh, it can't see you, but it sure can hear you. Running is futile. You need to keep calm and stay quiet in order to do so. You need to control your breathing by gently moving LT and RT. Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. If it feels your presence, it will come closer and closer with each mistake. Don't let it reach you. So I guess we're going to breathe like in and out. Okay. This is a tough one. Especially because when it starts going in, you can't, I can't really see the circle too much. There we are. We got it. No I mistakes, I assume. That thing. I must be hallucinating. You got on crazy. Didn't make any mistakes, but he didn't didn't come closer and said so. It is tough. Though. That's probably a, a tougher one. But that's good. We've got a different like an actual entity entity. Good idea. I can use a magnet to attract the keys, but how do I get close enough? Well, I need to. I do need to do this, right? This has got to be it. What else? Right, okay, that's how I do it. Okay, yeah. I, I knew it had to be something with these. I was trying to bend the uh, uh -huh. yeah I was trying to bend that okay that does that okay. oh trying to work that out pressing random buttons and stuff spin it all doorman's keys found a doorman's office but he nowhere to be found so I guess we try we can open his office right Listen, because we had a boy escape. Right. But I think the doorman's keys should be able to work on a lot of things. I mean, being the doorman's keys. Oh, well, that's a lovely poster. What do you know? Walter has a semi-pornographic poster in here. He's such a nice man. He's never stalked me or anything. Oh, Walter, what are you doing, bud? Here is the key to the switch you'll find on the shop counter in case anyone needs to access the exhibit gallery. There are security cameras. That's suspicious. Why would they be like, hey, here it is. Day shift report. 22nd August 1998. Uh, Simon code 55173. Oh, I don't know what. I can't remember what. I think I've got the, the things on me though. So that should be fine. Uh, the plumber from the insurance arrives and repairs the leak in the pipe. I sign the insurance claim form. The package is delivered to block 2, flat 3B. Nobody is home and is stored in the doorman's desk temporarily. Uh, uh, Mr. Isaac Farber is asked about the incident that which took place during the night shift. 
He seems to be confusing not to know what I am talking about and appearing upset. He asks me many questions. I offer to call a doctor. He assures me he is fine. Door-to-door -door salesman is found trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. I assure him out of the building. That's suspicious because the other night they had the people knocking. Security cameras are full swing. I think that is sarcasm. It says here is the here is the key to the switch you'll find, but I can't click on anything. So it looks like someone's picked it up, taken it. We're good. Mm. Lovely. Walter is displaying the complaint I filed against him as if it was some kind of prize. I see he's taking it very seriously. So, where are we? Oh, this is the... Yes. Locked it from the inside. This is the... Uh, to the basement. So we've got a little loop. That's good to know. Got to be something down that hallway at some point, right? All good. So far, we just had the blind spooky boy. Crime scene very appropos. 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 Oh, there it is. That's got to be it, right? Crank handle, an iron crank handle with a socket. Could easily hide under this table. Here's our hiding spot. So we've got three around the shop floor. Nothing in the courtyard. Courtyard we might be safe though because it is uh it is an open space. Should be good. Toilet. It's my bra. Fuck oh, water, you bloody pervert. This had to be you, you son of a bitch. Just you wait. The water? Bad boy. That mirror is filthy. Why am I not surprised? Who's, oh, who's, look who's talking. Huh? What is that? Hydrogen peroxide. I feel like I'm being stalked. Better be careful. What am I meant to do? Is this time for the... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so she's freaking out, so thank God. It was like somebody was whispering inside my head. Uh oh, personal item passive. In my worst moments I play the my music and forget the world. Rock always helps me find my way back. I can't use it. But it is a passive, so that might be why she's got so much, such a high. Uh, serenity. Or maybe it'll give me a prompt to use it. I don't need to go that way. I do need to go back to there. I've got the thing to open that, but I do, I can open. I'm going to try the dormant keys on, on the, around in the courtyard and in that corridor. Should be able to. Lights are off. Should be able to, uh, use that. Open up my wave. Trying to find more stuff. Learn the parameters of this key I have. I can put you out while we're outside. Don't need you. That one is lock locked. Whoever was in here is gone. There's something on that table. I wonder if we could sneak in somehow. Yeah. So we do need to get into this one over here. I think I can go out that window and then come 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 in. 
Yeah, all the lights are off actually. Mm -mm. Where my flares is locked. So yeah, I can. Nope. Not the right key. Well, oh, crap. Oh no, here's some light. Not that one. This one can be used. It does work. So we have a way in. They're going to hit you with a big, big spook on that, right? Notices for the neighbors in block two looks a bit old. There's no real reason why we should be in here, but we're going to have a little wonder. Going to just be checking doors, really. And okay, that was pointless. <laughs> I tried every uh, every door. Didn't try the key on every door, but they didn't even have to listen things. So I assume I've gotten used to this. But my friends get scared at night. Uh, yeah, nothing really. Unless I find a clue that sort of says like, "Hey, you got to come come to." Uh, I think block two we're in, and uh, and use that. Oh, there was the uh, the package that did arrive for someone in block two. So maybe if I if I find that, I can find where where that person is, what floor they're on. Might be able to drop their package off or something for them. So here we go. So we'll go back through that hallway, try those doors, see if any of those work. Otherwise, it's back into the shop. We've got the handle crank. We've got the hydrogen peroxide. I haven't seen something we'll use that for. We've got the coal tar token, which we can use. Something with that on. Give it another listen. Just to make sure. This is the one with the arrow. So this might lead us somewhere. RB again. Don't know why. Mm -hmm. Luckily I'm carrying this. Recorded by Isaac Farber number one. He broke the, the mirror, I guess. Garbage pickup notice, things like that. What have we got? To the shop. I'm gonna have to listen to that one again. Yeah. The dog was. There was some uh, buzzing. Does my dad live separate? Because. It had the Erica Farber in block four. Uh. Maybe it does. <sighs> no, for me. Reminder written by Erica Farber to a Farber Isaac. Farber, I kept a copy of the key to the house in the display case in the showroom inside the Chinese puzzle. I would have left it at the store for you, but I don't trust the doorman. 
I have provided you with a reminder of the combination on the back of this note in a somewhat cryptic form, though just in case this falls into discreet hands, because that might have been the thing I forgot then. Oh, I didn't turn it around. Um, how do I look at my notes? Left. It's not really cryptic. From left to right, first wheel eight, second wheel five, 13, 14, yeah, 14, 2, 11, I can't write it in Roman numerals, Auto, if you're reading this, take a hike, so number 6, I might just, is this a run, this is a run, I've nowhere to hide, run, run girl, somewhere else to hide. I just gotta keep going this way. This is the only place I know where it is one. Where is it? Over here. There are no hiding places here. Under the table. Quickly. Here we go. She's got the um, rock music on in her ears, so I guess that makes this easier. Did I do it? Yeah, cool. Ooh. I must be losing my mind. Okay, where did she... We we'll use the code cult our thing. Oh, we, still, we still haven't got to check those two rooms, but that's fine. Screw that noise. Stop running. It's fine. Feed the boy. Play and win, play and, oh, uh, play and win, play and lose, having doubts, go right through. I don't know. We got this so we can unlock that door. We should check. That's an eerie picture up in the corner there. Looks like it's clear. The room is empty. I don't know what else I was expecting. Oh, uh, use. Now, does that permanently unlock the door? I hope so. Right, so now... Oh, <laughs> Zony. Now it's telling I need to check it. Which should be fine, right? They want me to go into that room. Coltar. So we had a big, uh, yeah, it had to run pretty far. I'm guessing if something like that triggers, I can just run. And she's not going to be able to hear anything. Because it's like iron door. Too thick. Like, I guess it's going to be fine to just, you know, you know you're not going to have time to stop and listen. So they're not going to hit you with, like, something like that. The dad's favourite items, what a bookworm, where in the world is he? That is a good question. These are all the jewels are Etruscan. According to dad, he's rarely wrong. That's just a grim picture. I do like the pictures they are in this game. They are good spooky. I stored my puzzle box in this glass display and changed the combination. Let's hope I remember it. From left to right. Yeah, she had it. Okay, so I get. All right, so I have this. I wonder if <laughs> that was in the other one. I just missed it. So uh, eight. I think I guess the last one she can't write it in Roman numerals, so it's um it's going to be a letter. Uh, five. 
Next one, 14? No. Hmm. Maybe E? Oh, yeah, it must be zero because you can't write zero in Roman numerals, right? Everything else kind of like has a a number to it, right? Am I, am, I, am I right? That's the question. And 11. So I'm thinking that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11. That's it, yep, cool. Okay, so it was just cycle up the rest of the way. A hollow wooden cylinder is divided into several ring shaped compartments. So she put her house key in this. We'll check the rest of the room and then we'll do that. We gathered mum's favourite items in this display, they are not for sale. Fair enough. Roman coins were collector items, old but well preserved. I think that might be it. Medieval land chart is dead, catalogued and classified the item. So I think the next place we need to go is the um, Spanish King Philip Ordinanzas, meant to regulate. Uh, so we'll try the fixing this. Examine, uh, inspect. Chinese puzzle box, put my house keys in there just in case. But the rings are stuck. Oh, can I? Maybe... No. But I need, so I need to find something that can... No. Okay. Find someone with the hydrogen peroxide. Can't listen, it's got a thing against it. They hit me... No, good. They hit me with an instant kill there, like... That's, that's, that's not fair. <laughs> we... Ah... Oh. Um hmm. I guess really I should try those two doors. I don't really have much I can do. We'll give that a try. Go back the way we came. Might need to. Uh, might have to open up. Get into the shed to. Unstick the 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 things. The puzzle box. Or did she put her house keys in the? I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know whether to go back up there and have a look. Horrible. More business documents, if anything ever happens to Dad or me. I'm going to need Sherlock Holmes to make sense of it all. There should be some... Oh! One of the antique floor mirrors we've got on display is covered, but it's covered with a blanket, so... Ah, that's a choice thing. Okay, we're not going to fuck around with a mirror, to be honest with you. Definitely not. Definitely not. Not when our Dad had already... Oh, did, did, didn't come up with this thing. Okay, you're safe. Good. We're, yeah, we're not going to mess around with a mirror. Unless, like, I have no other course of action. Painting himself a hush, I wonder why they're still here. He's usually so anxious taking his purchases home. Yes, yeah, so we've got a little question mark with there. Can't do anything with that. Letter 2 from... Husha, Isaac, I'm afraid it's too late. I have heard the melody. Catherine and the children have too just once. Nothing will happen to them, will it? Dear God, that melody. Something is different inside my head. It's made me see things I don't understand. Things I would rather not continue seeing. 
I'm so sorry, Isaac, but I feel forced to send the music box back to you. I will keep researching it, but I don't want to have it anywhere near me. I must think of my family, please. Take care of yourself and forgive my lack of courage, Sebastian. Okay, so he's he had the um, he had the uh, the boy send it back. Cause we yeah, uh, so they're kind of like trapped in the house, still being haunted, right? The sisters and that, the the daughter and uh, his wife, kid. There was a boys' room we never went in. Um. Now I still have the doorman's key, the only place I can think of that I haven't been to is down in the basement, there's that one door. Why? See, why, why, why does it give me the heartbeats? I don't know if you can hear the heartbeats, but it makes what the, gives me the rumblies. She's a very serene person, so we're good. Down here. There we are. Oh, good. Haven't really had any, any, uh, heard anything so far. Now I can get rid of the key. Right, that was the last one. No, oh, last space. Last space, okay. Storage. Rooms. We've got some spookage going on. I don't know what that sound is. Nope. Storage room and it's locked. I think it's just something with the pipes, maybe. She doesn't seem to be react reacting to it, so... Ooh, okay, power. Always wondering if this is where the electricity meters are, or if it's just a storage room. Electricity meters, some neighbours have already been caught stealing someone else's electricity. Oh, mm -hmm. a wrench. Can I combine that with... No. Oh, I didn't press the right one, right? Try as I may, I just can't think of a way. Okay, so no. More tools from the neighbours in block one. I don't even know what some of them do. Okay, so... A few people do... Just share shared area. So we've got this wrench. Nah, you're good fam. You're good fam. Have fun with that. That's that done. Uh, got a wrench. Doesn't work with the with the boy. With the uh, the puzzle box. We've got the lock in the shop. We we'll try the peroxide on that. Also, maybe give the wrench a try. Uh, that was this one over here. Right. Good luck prying the lock open with that. No, it must be it must be the wrench then. Yep. Why would Dad put his house keys in here? Isn't that a bit too much? Ah. Wait. What was? Oh, can I take that again? Oh, that's a bit. Oh, it's broken though now. Right. Oh no, no. Lock is already open. Nothing in the drawer. Okay. Um, so where did he live? It was him that lived up the top there, right? Where we had the spookage. And she has her house keys. She lives separate. She lives in block floor. That's what I'm understanding. That's what I'm thinking. Is that correct? Is the question. Ah! 
What's happening? I've got to block the door. Which door? This door. All right. I'll just. <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of strength though. Come on. Yep. Good. Ooh, fingers. Damn door. Don't you ever open again. So we're not dealing with that. This isn't it, no, this is the storeroom. I was trying to remember which door it was. <laughs> that one or this one. Yeah, we're good. This is it was the one with the arrow pointing to it, right? I was just... <laughs> was that the door? Or someone... I was... Breathing a sigh of relief. Fuck, if I... I wonder if going outside would be uh, a good idea. I think this one's a um, yeah, just locked. So I don't think we're just gonna get we're gonna be able to get a key because there's no use on it. Nothing. Mm -mm. Door's flat. Yeah. So a uh, dead flat. Uh -huh. So last time I just I was like just standing trying to figure out what to do and. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that was. Oh, that's the one he smashed. Oh no, no, it was in the bathroom. Left his light on. Just kick the dog in the face. Sorry, Lola. Got a dark room. Why are you giving me all the show me everything? Why? Christ, something's wrong. Dad, where in the world have you gone? Maybe it's just showing he's not here. Dad never leaves the house so late, especially in this weather and without a scarf, Daddy. Where are you? Dad's keys, he had kind of left the house unless it was an emergency. Maybe he got sucked into some kind of hell dimension. Mirror is shattered. Did Dad do that? But why? It doesn't make much sense. I'm kind of worried. No. Yeah, because there's all these things hanging up now, so. Dog. I'm trying to put my feet down. But it's got these things hanging around. Maybe thought there was some kind of like protection. Blair Witch. All through that big one. Okay, we'll go we'll keep going around this way. We've got this whole place to explore now. Oh! A Ouija board. Another shattered mirror can't be a coincidence. A Bible next to a bottle of whiskey. Dad hardly drinks, but he's certainly not and he's certainly not religious. What the hell is he looking for? Something to do with that. <laughs> Wardrobe is practically empty. Wouldn't be the first time I hid inside. Look, some magic crystal is. Oh, so, so we've got the a hiding spot in this area now. Okay. Recording two. We good? We good? I was getting settled in having a little sip of tea. He set the bed on fire. Is this some kind of sick joke? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't want to fuck around with the Ouija board. <sighs> Press it. Pure desperation Ouija board. Oh, so he's just trying to find answers and he just freaked the fuck out. Circle piece, so wooden circle piece carved and decorated. Oh. oh yeah, it's a lid. Lid to my box puzzle. To be precise. Mm -hmm. There we are. So, we should be able to make... Oh, that's the end piece. Should be able to make our own way uh, in now. Oh, one of these. That one just moves itself. Oh, I can do that. So we're kind of following the green line. That moves that one as well. And that moves them all. So really I want this one up here first. Um, 
what I need to do is bring this one to like just next to where it needs to be, like there. Right. So there, so that I can move it up into position. And this one. I need that there. And then I need to have this one up. No, I did it wrong. Did it wrong. Move that back. This needs to be one away from this one. No. What am I trying to think of? That needs to be there, but then that needs to be up there. Oh, I can move these end ones. Right, okay. I can't move that one. Okay, okay. That's what threw me off because I couldn't do this. Does it need to be in a straight line is the question. Because if that's the case, then we can... I'm going to say yes. Try to think that. That was the thing that was throwing me off. Okay. So one away. We know what we're doing. Uh, should be it. There we are. It's just a case of finding where the two ends were. Oh, I saw <laughs> Cthulhu. Peculiar ornament. Cool. So we got that. Got that. Got that. Dad and Husha share the taste for art and design. Books on theology, particularly the history of. So we can get into her house now. Tranquilize as these aren't the meds Dad usually takes. Ooh. So he's been getting some spookage going on. Can't listen. But. I do have a spooky house. Uh, there's not spooky house, there's a place I need to hide if I need to. One of the magnesium flash cameras, dangerous little thing. Faces in the... No, why aren't you talking about these? Spooky shadow in the bottom corner, I don't see what's in the top one. Spooky faces in the doorway there and someone hanging from the ceiling. Lovely. One of Dad's little experiments. I hope he knows what he's doing. Ah, that's a... That's a puzzle. Someone coming through and a shadow with no one there. So he's like, taking photos of all these things. So I'm going to put the hydrogen peroxide there. So we develop the pictures we take with our anti-cameras. -cam I still have a lot to learn. Bedroom, dark room. I don't. You right? Yeah, I don't have all the the uh, stuff for that puzzle, so I can't do anything with that. Should be good. Another smash mirror. I think it's a covered in dust. I don't get it. What's going on with you, Dad? It's the bathroom. I don't see anything with that? Oh, what's this? Photos of me and Dad. He loves it. Blah blah blah. I don't want to like read everything. All the small stuff. It is nice though, the uh two bathrooms. Family pictures of ages ago, shit mum. I wish you were here. Don't let me say why would you have two bathrooms in a single flat? I don't know. Seems weird.
No, there's a creaking in there. We ain't doing that. What? That might be why there's creaking. But we'll go check out this way. A little click. I don't think I got the click last time. Okay, this is a ultraviolet lamb that examined that painting, if you can even call it that, but why? I'm messing around with the piano. I miss you so much. Oh, I miss you so much, Mommy. I know you dropped everything to help Dad when you left us. If we survived your loss, I know we can survive anything. The cups of garrison dust. I can't believe Dad is constantly cleaning. Bunch of strangers diaries. Is Dad doing some kind of research? Yes. Third letter. Why do you give me the uh, that one there this time, dear Isaac? I hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I now know who made the box, but he died years ago. His name was Argus Legrand. As soon as I find out more, I will let you know. I believe the key lies in returning the box. If you have the list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I oh, yeah, had the uh, storage uh, locker. I think he mentioned that. Um, I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes, I'm positive. I hope everything is going well. Yeah, because he had the uh, storage locker with like uh, blood in it. That's where he got the the lock box, uh, the music box, from. month old newspaper. Newspaper. Right, we gotta check this out. I don't really want to do with that. I think it will turn off the, the light, so... Have to come from, uh, from this side? Yes. What's this painting doing here under that lamp? Where did it come from? Why is it so important? Put it back in. Why can't I interact with this? I'm trying to. A little, little moan when the. Uh... Oh, I can take the bulb, okay. Where can I put this in? Dining room. Should be good, should be good. That's the kitchen. Uh, dishes are clean but covered in dust. Happened on full far from the tree, Dad is a huge spice fanatic. Coffee and tea for the entire nation. Ah. Right. Oh, but all the food is run. Instruction on keys. Uh, dear daughter, I tried to arrange the keys for you. The ones on the right hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. The coloured metal keys are for the security door and to the shop and the locks. The square gold keys and the black plastic keys are for the devices and apparatus in the shop. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. The gr round green plastic keys are for your motorcycle. Red plastic key is for the safe. Small gold keys for the little box of, with your mother's things. Uh, the other three are for the storage rooms and warehouses where we keep lots of antiques. Dad, thanks for nothing. Daddy. Lots of stuff. Never wanted to run away from this place this badly. Uh, oh, is that? What's that? Uh -huh. Pet food. Box of dead cockroaches. Mm -hmm. It's pet food. It's what I feed my pets. Oh. I think maybe we should go to uh, her house then. Dad doesn't smoke. Oh, that sinks big time. Yeah, okay. Not messing around with that. I think. So we're going to be going to her 
flat. But I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Last time I thought I could do a full episode in a full boy. So we do need to come back for the dark room. We have the ultraviolet light still to use. We've got the pet food for some reason. We're going to be using that. But we'll go check out her, her flat. We do have a her key now. And that should actually give us a route uh, into the shed. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I, I am very much enjoying this game. I'm very nervous. I'm going to get Erica killed in the next one. Though uh, We'll see how we go though. So, uh, this has been Song of Horror Episode 2. I do hope you're enjoying it uh, as I am. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful night.